Today's Gospel Tuesday, September 3, is from St. Luke chapter 4, verse 31 to 37. Jesus then went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teachings, because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, Ah, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? You have to come to destroy us. I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's faithful reflection is from Sister K. Elia of the Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Bili pa ba tayo kay Lord? Today's Gospel is a continuation of Jesus' rejection in Nazareth by His own people as He started His public ministry. It must be disheartening and disappointing for someone to start something big with a rejection, more so by your own neighborhood. But not Jesus. He was focused on his mission, knew what it takes, and continued on. He went to Capernaum to preach and teach people. Jesus here teaches us that no matter the hurdle, the pain, and the discouraging events, We always have the capacity to move on and continue with our task or mission. Even if our loved ones do not believe in us, He does and is always there to guide and help us. Another point in today's Gospel is how the evil spirits know Jesus. It is amazing how these evil spirits fearfully recognize Jesus and how they obey Him when He cast them out. It's just sad when we look at today's generation, how people care so less about Jesus anymore. Christ being Lord and Savior does not seem to matter to people any longer, enough that we remove Him in schools, government, businesses, and even in our own personal lives. It is worth reflecting today. Pilip pa ba tayo kay Lord? May kinalaman pa ba siya sa mga buhay natin? Sa ating decisions, preferences, o lifestyle? Mas mahalaga na ba ang ating sariling kalooban kaysa kalooban ng Diyos? Let us pray. Lord, I believe in you. Help me obey you at all times. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.